Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 20th, 2019. So my goodness, I did a, a, a little class last night uh, where we kind of went over uh, charts and trades that may be uh, setting up uh, for the week ahead, and futures were looking positive at the moment. Um, as Asian markets open, we looked positive, but as the night went on, things kind of fell apart. Um, Asian markets closed mixed, mostly lower um, last night. European markets are also lower this morning. And consequently, Dow futures are now looking for a bearish open. Right now, we're down right about 100 points in the Dow futures, and we're waiting to see who knows, there could be some earnings reports or something like that to move, around, move things around yet this morning. But unfortunately, there's not um, any of those really big reports today that can really influence market direction, nor is there anything on the economic calendar that we would expect to really move the market around much. So the market will be very, very subject to its own devices, meaning that it's going to be sensitive to news reports, it's going to be sensitive to any tweets, and so we're going to have to watch this pretty closely. So let's take a look at the charts. What are the charts telling us? And, and, and unfortunately, there's kind of a bearish... There's some bearish patterns here that we're really going to have to focus in on and be careful of. First, we know that we've already begun the downtrend and that downtrend is in play. This right here is what you call a bear flag. And that bear flag rallying back to price resistance right up here at 26,000 in the Dow or 260 on the diamonds, as you can see, is a fairly significant level of resistance in the chart. And we needed to get back above there. We needed to, to move back through that level. Unfortunately, um, we were unable to do that on Thursday and, and Friday saw selling coming in there at the end of the day, pushing us back down significantly. So, so far we have not been able to do that. Now, this is not what you would traditionally call um, any kind of a, a bearish uh, price pattern here in the chart. But if we couple that with our moving averages, you can see that we have, let me move that chart, we have a failure here of that 50-day moving average. A 50-day moving average failure is a technically damaging pattern. And if we were to continue to sell off today, and I'm not suggesting that we will, but if we continue to sell off today with this gap down, if buyers don't step in and we were happen, uh, happen to uh, kind of pile on that on the sellers, then we would have a pretty ugly pattern here and a true uh, full-on failure of that 50-day moving average. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. That creates a major technical problem for the chart. And I would tell you that those usually don't recover very, very quickly. Um, it could take weeks and if not months for that to repair. So kind of keep an eye on that um, as we move through the morning and we'll see how the market responds uh, to this gap down this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation, rallying back up into that resistance area. Resistance areas, if you've watched the videos before, that I've mentioned to be cautious of and to be watchful of. And now, once again, we have that potential of that bearish flag um, showing up in the chart. And if we were to get this failure right here, That could be um, obviously technically damaging for the chart uh, and psychologically damaging as well, particularly if they if sellers kind of pile on and we follow through heavily to the downside. This morning, it looks like the SPY is going to open up below uh, yesterday or Friday's candle, which is unfortunate and could really trigger a little bit of fear here in the market. So we'll have to wait and see how the market actually responds to that. It's not what we think is going to happen, it's what we see happening, and we have to wait for that. <clears throat> Be careful not to chase this gap down as well. 
because we've um, we've seen gap downs just like we did on Friday. We got a gap down and buyers stepped in and pushed it up. No sellers came in and followed through. So if there's no follow through on sellers today, then this would not be particularly bearish and we'll have to keep an eye on that price action. Let's take a look at the queues. Our queues um, also showing us that bearish pattern here, that bearish flag um, right up here in those resistance zones that I've marked out here in the chart. And we just can't seem to quite get through there. And once again this morning, we are gapping down significantly here on the queues. Um, NASDAQ's looking for a big slide uh, this morning. Um, that could uh, be a little bit problematic for the overall market and really weigh heavily on the market. So uh, that selling coming in strong. And I would suggest if we open down in here, if those bulls don't pick up, if sellers pile on, we could really quickly be down here testing this level of support again. And hopefully that will hold. So watch that pretty closely this morning. A um, lot of bearish activity in the NASDAQ itself. And I'm guessing that has to do with the technology um, uh, presidential uh, work that he did last week. Um, that's creating some uh, ripple effects um, at Huawei, uh, the, the Chinese uh, cell phone maker, um, device maker that, uh, well, um, Google's action this weekend largely cut them off from world expansion. So um, the ramifications of these kind of actions can really lead to some um, ugly reactions in the market. And we may um, have, have that uh, going on here in the queues this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, just for full disclosure, I'm actually short IWM, and I consider IWM the weakest index of the market right now. While uh, Diamond Spies and Qs were making new record highs, notice that IWM didn't even come close to doing that. And then this failure uh, right in here created a, an incredibly bearish looking pattern here failing at the 50 day and the 200 day moving average here on IWM and you can see IWM is looking for a gap down open this morning maybe really really close to testing these lows and if you guys remember I mentioned this the other day that stopping somewhere here kind of in the middle um, was one of those dangerous things that we have to watch for because if it, if it um, stops somewhere in the middle, the chances of that test of the these lows uh, really increases in my opinion. Um, so we markets really like to find support and resistance levels and kind of kind of stopping right here in midair kind of leads me to believe that we um, really could seek out this level at IWM. So watch that closely um, today as we move along. Let's take a look at the VIX. If you guys remember, I have mentioned this and mentioned this and mentioned this. There's no really real major worry in the VIX until or if we break through this level of support and hold it as support. And if that were to occur, if those that fear really starts coming into the market, then we get these big fear spikes that we don't want to see coming off of this level. So let's watch that closely today as, um, as this market opens um, lower. If that fear really starts to creep in and we see um, this VIX starting to rise, watch that closely because this can move really fast if that fear or panic starts to set in. Now, what I would tell you is on Friday is that did not occur. And I was honestly kind of surprised um, when the news report came out that U.S. and China had uh, negotiations had stalled. Um, I, I honestly was expecting to see the VIX start to spike um, significantly on Friday afternoon, but there was a major effort to prevent that from um, from occurring. There was a major bull bear fight in the price action, and we ended up with the VIX just kind of sitting here flat on the day with no, uh, no movement by the end of the day, just sitting right here around that support level. 
So watch this closely today. If we, we could easily spike off of this in fear, or we could see that uh, protection team really working hard to prevent that fear from happening and uh, sink back down in, in the market rally. So watch us close. We've got a, a lot of decisions to make this morning, um, and I would suggest being a little bit cautious as you look at the market this morning. Let's take a look at um, the T2122 indicator. T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. And what this does is it, it, it really lays out um, high levels, low levels in the market when we've reached kind of extremes. And you can see on Friday, we pulled back significantly in T2122 on that selling that occurred uh, toward the end of the day in the market. Now, what this tells us is that we do have opportunity to move lower. We're gapping down this morning, but we're going to be reaching down here into the this bullish reversal zone where we've reached a, an oversold condition, at least in the short term. Now, please keep in mind that just because we bounce down there doesn't mean we have to bounce right back up. We've seen times where we can stay down here for a little while and, and extend uh, to the downside. So watch that closely. But if we reach down into this level, we would start watching for clues of potential rally. So let's keep an eye on that. Also, this tells us there is if the bears don't come in, if the bears um, um, are uh, just not strong enough and those bulls really come in strong then we have this big open window here for an upside move so kind of keep that in mind as you plan your risk forward be watching closely uh, for those potential reversals let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today our economic calendar is is a parade of Fed speakers. <laughs> we have uh, one, two, three, four, and then five with uh, the chairman himself speaking at 7 p.m. this evening, uh, this evening uh, uh, Fed speakers. But other than that, we have no market moving events. We have 8.30, we have the Sh Chicago Fed Activity Index, which doesn't move the market around really. And then we have a couple of bond auctions that I wouldn't expect to um, have any action in the market at all so nothing here on the economic calendar to really move us around and um, on the earnings calendar we have about 80 companies reporting earnings but none of the reports this morning are those kind of reports that although there's some notables there's really no reports that you would expect to really move the market so what that puts us in is a situation where the market is going to be very very sensitive to any news events certainly very nervous around any tweets that come out and so we could see some volatility. We could see uh, some choppy price action, very difficult and challenging price action uh, for the day. So watch out and be, be a little bit careful how you plan your risk moving forward. Watch, watch that price action closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And I understand, uh, you know, how difficult this is, um, you know, we just have, um, you know, very, very difficult situation going on in the market and it's uncomfortable and it's um, it's no fun um, in any way, shape or form. And I, and I get that. I understand that. So what we want to do or what you need to do is just be very, very focused on that price action and be a little bit careful and cautious how you move throughout the day here. Um, and, and plan your risk moving forward. But with that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly, truly appreciate that. And you know, it makes a huge difference. Um, just makes a huge difference uh, for uh, the algorithms to show these videos to more people when folks do that. So thank you so much. And everyone, um, feel free to share this video with any friends and family as well. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. And these are some of the charts that I mentioned um, 
Last night on Sunday evenings, Hit Run Candlesticks Right Way Options does a free Sunday um, a preparation uh, class, and I did that class last night. And we kind of talked about different factors affecting the market for the day and a few charts. So let's take a look at a few long and short uh, chart um, setups. Let's take a look at GIS. Now, GIS is a um, defensive sector stock and uh, what you'll see a lot of times is folks if the market's nervous folks will move to those defensive sector stocks um, and that's where we'll see um, uh, some of that bullishness in nervous markets going on and as you can see right here we've got um, all that um, uh, good price action here in this chart on GIS. Really good positive price action, breaking through resistance, holding support. Um, we'll want to watch stocks like GIS uh, for those uh, good potential moves. PepsiCo is another one of those, and I've been talking about these charts over and over and over for days. PepsiCo, really nice bullish moves. Um, a lot of folks made some money on that in hit and run candlesticks right way options. Beautiful, beautiful uh, price action move. Now, I would suggest this could continue, but I don't think I would chase it here. A good chance of a rest or pullback or a move over to the trend here before too long. So keep an eye on that. How about some bearish bearish ideas? Let's take a look at Valero Energy. VLO, there's that bearish candle pattern or bearish flag being formed right here in the chart and a little bit of a failure here on Friday. So we we'll want to keep an eye on this uh, this morning. This is failing right there at the 50 day moving average. Drop rally to the 50 and the potential failure on down. So watch that one closely. Could be a nice short trade if you're looking for something in there. Tiffany's might be another for a potential short trade. This is an ugly failure pattern at price resistance. And you can see this price resistance that runs through the chart right here. But that ugly failure pattern also occurs underneath the 50 day moving average. So watch that. Tiffany's looks pretty darn short, if you ask me, um, in these charts. Let's look at another couple of trades that could potentially be long. Take a look at PAYX. I've mentioned this one over and over and over. PAYX after breaking out, looking good, looking strong. Keep in mind, I would not chase this long. I would wait for the next entry into the trade. PAYX holding up very, very strong um, in these charts. If you take a look at like, um, a MasterCard, MasterCard holding up very, very well, holding up strong in the market. So we might want to keep an eye on some of those pay system stocks holding up very well. Um, take a look at BAH. BAH is one of those companies I've been talking about a lot here lately. Great potential in this chart, beautiful trend, holding up, not, not responding to the down move of the market at all, staying really, really strong. Strong. If you're looking for a short trade, you might want to take a look at TTD, TTD Trade Desk. This has got a failure pattern right at the downtrend, I mean the uptrend. We broke down the uptrend, rallied back up to it, and that happens to be right there at the 50-day moving average. This is not a good pattern uh, for Trade Desk, and this does suggest lower prices ahead. Um, you might want to watch that closely if that starts to falter or fail. Another uh, that might be on that list for a potential short would be Etsy. Etsy falling through that 50, rallying back up. There's that bearish flag again, possibly running into some price resistance up here. This is not, um, some of these charts are not showing that failure just yet, so you'll want to watch for those in case that failure does occur. And please keep in mind that this can continue to rally right up there into that 50 before it does fail. So watch that close. Um, there's no, no rush into um, any of these trades. And please keep in mind, any of these stocks that I show you is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. It's uh, merely stocks that could be setting up something you might want to evaluate. Put on your watch list, keep an eye on, see if there's any potential in those trade so um, kind of keep an eye on that watch that close okay let's take um, a look at one more company let's take a look at Nike 
Nike. Bullish engulfing candle here, um, right at the 50 day moving average and a double failure, almost a tweezer top right here on uh, Nike, right there at that 50 day moving average. We'll wanna watch this. If this begins to roll over or fail, if we were to get a failure pattern here, Nike could make that quick trip down here to the 200 day moving average. So watch that one close, another potential short trade. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I know everyone gets the blues around um, market sell-offs like this, but please keep in mind that you don't don't have to be overly worried about that and it, just don't fight it don't fight the move because one of the things that's great about a market sell-off is when it's over there's great companies at great prices so allow it to happen don't fight it don't try to um, don't try to uh, um, second guess it. Just let that market do what it has to do and um, and then wait for your edge to return in the market. Right now, Dow futures are down 125 points. We appear to be falling at the moment. So be really, really careful this morning. And that NASDAQ is really looking for a hit, a hard hit this morning. So be safe, everyone. Be careful. If you're struggling as a trader, today may be a really good day to stand aside, uh, just practice in some paper trade or something like that, but to stand aside and not try to fight this. Everyone take care. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.